Hi guys, this is Chloe Grace Moretz, and this is the Wired Autocomplete Interview. Have you ever Googled yourself? Of course, not a good thing to do, but yeah, I have definitely fallen victim to the Googling. What was Chloe Grace Moretz's first movie? My first movie would have been The Amityville Horror with Ryan Reynolds. And when I was a child, everyone was always like, was it so hard to act with him because he's so hot? And I was like five, and I was like, what? <laughs> What languages does Chloe Grace Moretz? Um, what languages does I? I does all the languages. Like for Suspiria, I had to learn German, well, pieces of German, and my character was being like possessed by a demon. And so at the end, she says some really gnarly stuff. We kept trying to figure out how to say like what was C-U-N-T in German? Like what would it have the same gravity? And so it ended up being like three different words that apparently get across that, <laughs> that tone. Speak. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Does Chloe Grace Moretz play video games? Yeah, I do. I love video games. I love first person shooters, but I also love like MMO RPG games. So I play a lot of Final Fantasy and getting into Destiny. You excited for Call of Duty? Oh my God, I'm excited. Yeah, I played like the beta as much as possible. They just invited me because I decided to tweet about it and I hadn't tweeted in a long time. So everyone, including my own publicist, thought that I was uh, hacked. <laughs> And they were like, are you okay? Why is she tweeting about video games so much? I also do my own stunts. <laughs> Does Chloe Grace Moretz play cello? No. I, I would love to say that I could. I did a movie called If I Stay. It was really wonderful. I got to learn to play cello for about three and a half months, which is not long enough to learn such an intricate instrument. But I also had an incredible double who was a beautiful cellist. They would cut my head off and I would just be like, and then they would like put the body in and she's like, da 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 And I'm like, yeah, acting. <laughs> Does Chloe Grace Moretz know martial arts? I do know martial arts. I did a movie called Kick-Ass when I was 11, and I got to work with Brad Allen, who is sadly passed away now. From that movie forward, I tried to stay with it for most of my life, and on the peripheral, I had the opportunity to get back into it. But now I'm also doing judo, which is really, really fun and exciting. So I'm trying to integrate different forms of martial arts besides my main one, which is Muay Thai. Does Chloe Grace Moretz sing? I do sing. I don't do it professionally, but I really love singing. And actually during the pandemic, I taught myself to play the guitar. Does Chloe Grace Moretz have a tattoo? I do. I have a lot of tattoos and they're all pretty hidden. And the only reason I hide, like I have them hidden is because as an actor, you have to spend a lot of time in hair and makeup if you have tattoos. And as a child actor, I saw all these adults be like, don't ever get tattoos. Cause you're gonna have to come in at 3 a.m. and they're gonna have to cover your tattoos from like three to 6 a.m. and then, you, then you'll start regular hair and makeup. I got one on vacation once. <laughs> there was someone at the, at the hotel we were staying out there like, we do tattoos, we can totally come to your room. Uh, a horrible idea. All I was gonna get was three dots. And it was, first of all, the most painful tattoo I've literally ever had in my life. I was about to cry. <laughs> and me and my stylist, who I've known since I was 11, we did it at the same time. And she and I are both like, well, at least we did this together. Wow, that really floated. Is Chloe Grace Moretz nice? No. Oof. She sucks. <laughs> I have to deal with her every day. I think she's nice. I'm, I, don't, I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to like read the room after this, you know, and maybe take a tally. <laughs> okay, is Chloe Grace Moretz British? No. But funny enough, I did fool Martin Scorsese into thinking that I was. I had auditioned for a movie called Hugo Cabret, and he was only gonna hire a British girl. And I was like, yeah. I can do that. So I went into the audition and I fully pretended to be from England and that my parents wore uh, horse breeders and that we lived in the Cotswolds. I had a whole, whole big lie, a huge lie. And then I booked the part and it was like a month into production that he was like, wait, are you just doing an American accent? And I was like, no. I'm like American, like my accent is Southern naturally if I don't iron it out. I guess maybe I am British, no. <laughs> Depends if I believe my own lie. Is Chloe Grace Moretz real? Oof, no, she is an NPC. I am a lot of the times uh, piloted by AI um, and there's like a series of little humans that kind of like do different shifts inside me and uh, allow me to live. I don't know, I think maybe I'm real. 
Are any of us real? It's a big question. Does Chloe Grace Moretz have social media? I do. I have Twitter, I have Instagram. I watch Twitch a lot. I don't actually like stream on Twitch, but I think I might. And I have TikTok. I really don't post on TikTok, but I like it. And I like all the weird beauty hacks. And I try them all. I didn't try the banana one. Did you guys see that one where you take a banana to do eyeliner? <laughs> Maybe I should have tried it. Maybe that's the moral of the story. How old was Chloe Grace Moretz? In Kick-Ass. 10 when I booked it. And then I trained for six months. And then I filmed it just as I turned 11. Can Chloe Grace Moretz sing? Yeah. Didn't we just answer that one? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Right now, I'm a little raspy, so you know, I don't know what I'd sound like. Chloe Grace Moretz. God, I can't imagine this is just gonna be, it's just my name and then something. Chloe Grace Moretz. Cars, oh, I love cars. I have a 110 Defender, and I have a rooftop tent on it, and I take it camping. I love uh, overlanding, and so I like to kit out my car with a bunch of, like, doomsday gear. <laughs> I bet, like, if, like, the end of the world was near, you'd probably wanna come to my house just so we could take my car. <laughs> But no, I, I really love cars, and I actually really, really want to get into car restoration. I like motorized things. Chloe Grace Moretz. Brown hair. I got blonde hair, but I did go brown for a couple times. I wore a brown wig and If I Stay, and then I dyed my hair brown for the equalizer, and it was fun. I've been blonde for so long, people do get a little, like, surprised if I change something. You know, which I think is why everyone, that's why they also Google whether or not I've had plastic surgery. <laughs> but I'm just me. I'm a real girl. Chloe Grace Moretz, restaurant. I love eating. <laughs> I love a restaurant. I love to cook. <laughs> I like food. I don't have a restaurant though, if that's what they're getting at here. There ain't no Chloe Grace Moretz restaurant, but who knows, you know? Chloe Grace Moretz, if I say, oh, yeah. This is the one that I was talking about earlier. RJ Cutler directed it, and it was based on a, a really wonderful book. Yeah, it was like my first, like, young adult uh, romance film and it was really sweet and I got to work with Jamie Blackley and he was such a nice guy and it was also a really sad story. Like everyone dies in it. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It was like probably one of my favorite movies that I've been a part of. It's a really, really sweet one. Chloe Grace Moretz. <laughs> that's funny. Out of context, that's so weird. But anyone that really like personally knows me We'll get it. I wash my face with olive oil every night. It's pretty much the only cleanser that I use. I used to have cystic acne for a really long time because of Carrie. I had the blood on me every day and I got a bacterial infection. And the thing that really resolved my issues and cleared my skin up was olive oil. And then my toner is apple cider vinegar. So I, I like to call myself a salad dressing. You know, like Newman's own. It's gonna be Chloe's own. Move over, Paul Newman. I feel like the three names sometimes is egregious. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like my mom went a little too far. I feel like have, making people type all that in is rude. Technically, my like birth certificate would have the umlaut right over my little E. And my mom hates it if I don't sign it with my little dots. She's always like, I gave you those beautiful dots. Why don't you use them? Okay, anyway. <laughs> Chloe Grace Moretz. Hugo. This is a movie I did with Martin Scorsese. I was 13 years old, I wanna say. When we first showed up, myself and Asa Butterfield, we were both children. And Marty is uh, a cinephile, like through and through, 100%. And he had someone send to both of our houses a huge cardboard box. And inside the box, it was probably 25 or so films. And they were all uh, very particular films. Each of our boxes were different. And he was like, don't even think of showing up to set until you watch all of these. So we watched every single film. And then every day we would go to set, he would bring them up in different ways and we would discuss them. And he really was uh, a film history class. You know, he is just such a cinephile and that movie was so much so his ode to cinema and his love of cinema. And that's just like, you know, such an integral part of my life being on that set and it really shaped me. Chloe Grace Moretz. Marvel. I have never been in Marvel before. I have like chatted with them about certain roles at uh, different times. I would love the idea to be in one. You know, I, I think it'd be fun to do DC or Marvel. I think they're both really cool, but I kind of want to play a villain. I think it'd be kind of fun to be a little bit of a baddie and not so much like a goody goody kind of character. Chloe Grace Moretz. Latest movie. My latest movie 
actually that'll be coming out next year will be this animation show movie I did called Nimona. It is made by Big Sky and they're really, really incredible. I'm doing it with um, Riz Ahmed, who I really love and being able to work with him has been so fun. Outside of that, I am in a TV show right now on Prime Video called The Peripheral, which I'm really, really proud of. And it's my very first time doing television. It's really, it's really wonderful and exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was my Wired autocomplete interview and thank you for Googling me. <laughs>